Good to see y'all today. Thank y'all for watching the video. We are going to go over one of my favorite Michael McDonald licks. That's kind of a just an amazing piano player. One of the one of the coolest songs I ever heard was the Doobie Brothers. And uh, whenever he was with the Doobie Brothers, it's called Taking It to the Streets. And he would come out later on in years, especially would come out and do this crazy piano thing on the front of it, you know, just freelancing the piano. And the lick that he done is this right here. And this was part of it, but it's like... Uh, So he would do, uh, that's basically the lick. And I think he done it, I think he done it in uh, G. So done. But uh, it's a really cool lick, and if you can get your hands around it, it's a great thing to learn. You can do it like this, it's also... You know, you can do it like that. And I think I've heard him do it that way. I've heard him do it a bunch of different ways. Just a, a chord progression up through most of the C scale. And there's that he adds on a few things to it. But so what we're going to do first is this lick actually starts out in the two minor. It's not that hard to learn this song. So it's like... Okay, so now we're going to walk through what I just played you. So the first chord is D octave bass. Your bass, your left hand will do this. So D, E, F, F sharp, G, e, uh, A flat, A, B, C, C sharp, and D. So it's You can do it with one note. So again. The simple way of thinking about this is if you're playing your C scale. Okay. A simple way to look at this in your left hand is you're playing the C scale, but you're adding three notes. Uh, F, A flat, and C sharp. So this is what you do. There's your first note. Next note. C sharp. So again, one more time. The right hand will start out in a second inversion F chord. So this is your F, which is the F, A, C. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the F up an octave to right here. So we go to here. So the first chord is A, A, C, F, then G chord in your right hand with an E bass, B, D, G, so playing the F sharp in my left hand, and C, F sharp, A, so I go... Then I'm playing a G over a C, or excuse me, a C over a G. So I got a G in my left hand, C, which is E, G, C. And then the next chord, 
I go up to A flat in my left hand. And the right hand is E, A flat, B. So I'm going to play up to the A minor right now. So we go. That's to the A minor. If you'll notice, during that segment, I was moving my right hand. I was actually placing chords in a higher register each time I went up, so I went like this. Here on out, I'm going to start moving down the piano register, okay? So I go. Next chord is a G over a B, B, and then D, G, B. The next chord, bass note C, and the top right hand is an A minor second inversion, which is a C, E, A. And then the next chord is a C sharp in your left hand. I'm playing a C sharp in my left hand, and then I'm playing an A7 in my right hand, which is an A or G, A, C sharp, and E. And I'm back to the where we started at. Okay, so we're gonna do this real slow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play octaves in my left hand because I like that powerful bass, that part of it. So, but it's real simple. You can use one finger or you can use two, however you want to do it. So you go like this: F with a D bass, G with an E bass. F chord, second inversion. This is a F sharp diminished. Then G with a C bass, C second inversion. Now the next chord, I'm playing a A flat on the bass. You can look at it. What I do is I look at it as two different chords instead of what's on the screen there. I look at it as a E7 instead of A flat diminished. But you can do that. But I look at it. And then A minor. Second inversion. Then I'm going back down with my hands. Then A minor with a C bass. And then an A7 with a C sharp bass. Then I'm back to the D minor, which is a two minor. Okay? So it's Then, then I close it out myself, and he does some of this kind of stuff. G. So I'm playing a G7 with my left hand. G. 
So, and you could play this lick that I'm playing right here a thousand different directions. I mean, it's like, you know, there's a bunch of... You know, just all kinds of stuff you can do with it. So, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So, but how I close it out on this lick is... So that's how that that's how that works, man. And it's real simple. I want to run through this one more time with you, and uh, that way you can get a get a grasp of it. So we're starting out in D minor, but we're playing an F on top. Gives it that. Uh, there's no D, no D in the right hand. So, and then G with E bass, F chord. In your second inversion, what I call a, a D with no D, F, it's actually an F sharp diminished, then a C over a G bass, and then E7 with a A flat bass, A minor, and then G. B bass, then you got C bass with an A minor chord on top of it, then an A7, the C sharp bass, back to your D. So, and then I close out. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Cool lick, man. I love some Michael McDonald. Uh, he's one of my favorite piano players, man. He does some killer. So you can you can get in all kinds of stuff with him uh, playing, man. He just does some incredible stuff. But be sure to like our page. Be sure to subscribe. Guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.